Oh yes, as darkness falls across the land, are you ready for an emergency situation? The old coot here coming back at you with another exciting video. If you saw the video just prior to this one, you can kind of tell I'm doing my best to get ready for any of life's emergencies that may arise, especially here in Southern California, with the fires, the earthquakes, <laughs> the floods, all the impending uh, disasters that may happen. Anyways, wherever you are in the world, uh, give it up for Florida, Georgia, even the Carolinas that are going through a hurricane right now. And with that being said, I just wanted to remind everyone, reminder, ding, ding, ding. You know, if you're looking for a road sign of a warning, here it is. Make sure you're disaster ready. So ReadyWise was kind enough to send me some samples and also a couple of these tubs of different, basically add water type meals. And originally I wanted to do this video up in the mountains here in Southern California. Unfortunately, those mountains are on fire right now. They've been burning for, wow, has it been a week and a half? I think two weeks. And I can't get up there. <laughs> like nobody can get up there. So I figured, okay, let me do one here at a local park. But anyways, with that being said, the message, the point of the story is that everybody whether you're single you're with someone you have a family maybe there's a group of you like neighbors co-workers whatever you never know when a disaster could hit or where it could hit you could be at work you could be at home you could be enjoying a sunday afternoon you never know and when that happens you never know what kind of utilities you may lose gas water electric etc so part of the video that i wanted to do is i wanted to bring out my little isobutane stove and actually cook something or even like a forgeable stove meaning one of those stoves where you can just use like leaves and twigs and that kind of stuff but in any case other than your gas or electric range that you have at home you should have at least one source to cook with in some way shape or form a pot you should have some water on hand or start doing your homework, start finding out where the sources of water are that are near you. Because like I said, a lot of those public utilities may not work. Gas, water, electric may not work. So you're gonna have to find your own and start foraging around. And also have some of these on hand. What I would suggest is maybe keep some with you at the office, right? Just put them in a cupboard or a closet somewhere with your name on them, you know, in a little bag or whatever. You don't have to bring the whole entire bucket. You, you might. <laughs> You know, that might be a good idea depending on how long you plan on being there. What if, what if there's a major earthquake and you can't get out of the building for a few days and you're able to at least move around inside the building? Like I said, just start storing that stuff at least like the equivalent of maybe a two liter bottle of water, a little stove, a little cook kit or just something. You can always burn office paper if you had to to use it. You, you see the where I'm going with this? Just saying. You may be coming home from work, there's a major earthquake, all of a sudden the roads are knocked out. So your car is going to become your mobile pantry and your mobile kitchen. And you kind of get the idea there too. So, you know, it's a good idea, again, to have the equivalent of something like a two liter or one gallon bottle of water with you, as well as some kind of like small little cook kit. I did some videos on those cook kits. I'll, I'll try to link as many as I can down below in the description. I'll also put links to this down below in the description, also in the comment section. I'll try to put as much of this on my Amazon storefront as possible for you to check out. But anyways, ReadyWise does make some really good meals. What I did, or what they sent me was just, uh, they sent me a couple tubs, which I am going to review in the future, I promise. But just as a sample here, they kind of threw in some extra. So here's like a cookie dough dessert. You know, all the comforts, that can comfort you in times of a disaster or an emergency are crucial. And, you know, having a dessert like that is kind of handy. Here was the noodle and beef, right? This is a dish. Basically, the idea here is that you boil, if you can boil water, you can eat. And even if you can't boil water, as long as you can add water to this, like clean, fresh, drinkable water, which you've seen me do videos on filters before, it's, it'll be cold. It might not be pretty, but at least it's something to eat. But you've got a meal here. There's noodles and beef. This one here is an apple cinnamon cereal, right? Think about breakfast. You know, just trying to normalize your life, especially if you are going to be in a disaster like this or an impending one that could or could not happen. Who knows? You know, you've got dessert, you got breakfast, you got a lunch. Now you got a dinner here. There's mac and cheese as well from ReadyWise. So, Great company. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that are in these kits. The 
darkness is falling quickly, but you kind of get a sense of what's going on there. There's emergency food supply. But anyways, I am going to do more videos on this stuff soon. Like I said, if you were looking for a warning or some kind of signal or some kind of sign that you need to prepare for some kind of an emergency, this is it. <laughs> this is it. Earthquake preparedness, fires, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes. You kind of get a sense of what's going on there. Anyways, I'm the old coot. I'll put links to all the stuff down below there in the description in the comment section, also on the Amazon storefront. And stay tuned for more videos about the stuff that's in here, how to actually cook and use them in the field when public utilities are shut off, which is probably the situation that most people might be in when the disaster hits. So anyway, stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you on the next exciting video.